Hey, what's up guys, it's Jay here. Hope you guys are doing well and safe. Today I'm gonna to be talking about three features that I like about iOS 14 beta. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first feature is widgets. Widgets are huge as part of iOS 14. And so Apple's really made a dedicated effort to bring widgets to iOS. It's kind of like the first um, iteration, so it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be you know, um, things that could be improved or um, things that people would want. The biggest thing with the widgets is that not because Apple has their own widgets, but because other developers can add their own widgets. So one of the features with the widgets from iOS 14 so far is the stacks. So stacking is pretty unique to iOS. I have not seen it on Android for as long as I've used it. So with stacks, what you do is you simply place the a widget on top of each other and it becomes a stack, which is a carousel type of movement where you can swipe up or down to get to different uh, widgets. And so you can create your own or you can use Apple's default, which has a variety of widgets built in. All right, so the second one, this is awesome because the app library is here on iOS. That is crazy. I never thought it would happen actually. I always thought I was just gonna stay the same for another 10 years and that's it. So with the app library, you're able to hide your icons, manage your icons, and you pr pretty much have an Android experience on iOS. Now I say almost because it's not exactly like Android where you can move icons wherever you like. With iOS, it's still restrictive in that you have to cascade from the top left all the way down to, to the bottom right. But there are ways to go around that and I'll show you guys. So you see on my home screen, I have two widgets. One is a photos widget and then the other is a uh, news widget slash um, fitness slash batteries. So you can see that I have a stack, my own stack here. And so what I've done is I put the widgets at the top so that I have the my most used apps right on the bottom where I can just click it and I'm good to go. So the next and last feature that I really like from iOS 14 beta is the privacy features. Now, Apple's, they spent a lot of time talking about it during WWDC earlier this year. However, um, you know, in terms of actually uh, using it, I think it's actually very useful what they brought. So the first two things are, one, LED notifications for when your microphone or camera is being used by apps. So including Apple's own first party apps, all apps have to abide by this new permission setup so that uh, you know as a user, your mic being used and when is your camera being used by different green or I think a yellow LED. So the second one, which I also think it's actually very, very important is uh, clipboard management. So I call it that, but basically it's so that you know when an app is copying what you've copied. So for example, if you've copied a link from somewhere and you want to paste it later or you don't want to use it or you want to send it to a friend, regardless of whether you're pasting it or an app is pasting it for you, there will be a little toast message at the top of the screen to show you that one app has taken information from a source to a destination. And I'm sure you guys seen on the news recently where apps like TikTok or um, for me, Shop. So for example, if you've copied a YouTube link or a Twitter link or an image link and you go into TikTok, it will automatically copy that information and paste it somewhere. But there is nowhere to paste in those type of apps. So yeah, that's kind of it as far as my favorite features. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite features are and let's talk. Otherwise, this has been it. Hope you guys stay safe and healthy again and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.